What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Kicking It With Kachi, where we highlight individuals that are really taking their industry by so much. Today, we have musical artist B Squared. B Squared, thank you for coming in and kicking with me, my man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, it's good, bro. Glad to, glad to be here, bro. Glad to be here. I'm glad, I'm glad. And, you know, obviously, like, uh, as, I, as people will get to know you and as we go through this interview, like, music, right? You've been doing music for a good number of years and been putting out music, so... What is what sparked the 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 idea to say, hey, you want to get into uh, producing music, making music, and eventually doing it seriously enough where it's you know out of your notepad and into like a studio? For sure. Um, really, what started? I was a sophomore in high school at the time when I originally got the idea. Started executing it like summer going into junior year. Um, what made me want to do it is like. I mean, I just saw all these people around me at my high school and shit doing, doing, doing their thing. Like, no hate to them. Right. Do it, doing their normal stuff. Like, hey, if there's not people doing normal stuff, then the people who are doing great things wouldn't be considered great. So, I mean, I'm fine with everyone doing their normal shit. But I just decided, like, I needed to be different. Like, I wanted to, I wanted to really make a change and make an impact on the world that we have. So, I, I, I made it my goal to get to a platform where i can do that and then creating like a sound right i i don't know what the uh the experiences or the pathway is for artists because i'm not i don't make music so in doing this i get to kind of figure out your process too like in creating the idea of b squared right like did you draw from outside influences what sort of things did you pull together to sort of make this persona that is the artist yeah, the way I look at it is, I, I think, I told one, someone I'm close with this recently, I, I think anyone in my city could have taken on the role that I took on. Like, I, I don't think that before I started this, I was doing anything special. I think anyone could have taken it, but I thought of it and I was like, I, I really think I could fill a void in my city right now with, because... There's a lot. There was some people doing music, but not nothing like the type that I was doing. So right. I, I just had the idea, and I was like, I I could really fill a gap here, and, and it worked out, and it's continuing to work out every day. And if and then uh, you know, from your city, and like, what type of uh, feedback would you say have you gotten as you you know been growing as an artist, coming back, and like you said, like this isn't really a sound that people around you would generally hear on the main airways right so how's it been for you rising as a local artist in your general area obviously you know everywhere else they always say everywhere else is not home as a fan so home is always that that major question of how they receive you yeah so at first I'm gonna be honest like at first when I first started dropping and shit it was on SoundCloud only on SoundCloud and you know what when you're only dropping at SoundCloud for a certain period of time people are just gonna look at you as a soundcloud rapper just like right, kind of right, just like right. dabbling kind of just doing a little thing but and i was getting some hate people were saying it was ass and stuff but you know like and that's gonna happen with everybody when they first start out so i just had right, to get right. i had to get past that um so yeah it, it, it i had to grow some balls to actually start dropping that shit on like on uh Apple Music, Spotify, all those platforms. But once I really started getting into it, I was really glad I did because then I started to get more and more support from a wide variety of people in my area. So it, it was it was really cool to see that start to formulate. And, you know, ever since then, right, three albums up till now to present day, right, that are out released. Each of these albums have at least, like, 10 to 16 songs, right? So... One, the very first album, what was that experience like just dropping that? Not the same. Obviously, as we're getting into this ethos of not being the same of any of all the other artists and all the other music around you, what was the experience of rolling that out and picking out those music, those songs and putting that together on a project? Yeah, bro. So originally, I, I actually had one album out first both that are not on the, in those three um, that later got taken down because it just wasn't on the level of those next three. Mm. Um. So yeah, that that was cool, but that was completely different from not the same, the one that you're referencing. Um, I not the same is really where I like got my real start because previously I dropped a, a single called Shades On. Uh 
and that is what really started getting people's attention in my uh city because they really fucked with that song uh so then imme- pretty much immediately after that i started working on not the same because i saw that i was right. getting a little bit of attention so i really uh um I really got that energy from Shades On, and I tried to put it all into like thirteen songs, which was what not the same was. And I I think I I think I capitalized on it because um, by my side off that album did hella streams for you know a, a real first album. Right, uh, right. Living your dream with my boy. Shout out ACC Bray and uh, Slim Jim. Those are my boys. Uh, they both killed their verses on that song. Helped that song out a lot um but yeah those are the two most popular ones from that and a, a few other ones that did good numbers um but yeah dropping that was definitely definitely a great experience because that is when people really started to take this shit seriously and like not just right. look at me as like some dude that's just like doing this shit for fun right right and then now coming into like you know all in head turner both albums that dropped in the same year right one is is there like a, as an artist like once you drop the first album is there sort of like a, a pressure to you know drop another project and like drop another project so like hey I'm here and then I mean obviously you're here right two projects in one year so what was the the and but a bunch of songs too so what was it like getting in the studio and producing those songs like what was the day to day like um day to day was you know. I, the way I look at it, I get my money during the day because right now, you know, I'm not bringing a lot of money with the music yet, but get my money during the day. And then at nighttime is when it is when my studio time and I, I'd be recording like basically 90 percent of the songs I put out were recorded in the middle of the night. Um, right, right. So that's that's like my the way I like the I just like the vibe at night more to record. And that the process it was not something I was expecting. Like I, th- I was thinking that I would have to get all these songs together and like put them in, in, in some, some intricate order to like make a right, story. Right, out. Right, right. And it really just came natural to me how to put like these albums together. I really feel like I, I I'm good at uh, telling a story through emotion throughout the whole album because like I was kind of just going through my like the th- few months it took me to make not the same right. track one start out with how I was feeling right when I started and then it just kept going I keep going through my emotions through the pr- whole process so I like to kind of create like a, a kind of window into like how I'm feeling throughout the whole project so I think I, I think I, I adapted well to that uh to the ability to um, be able to kind of form a story with an album. I, I wasn't really expecting it as much mm. um, leading up to it, but yeah. And would you say like in doing these albums, has your ear for your own music gotten better and picking out things that you like and, you know, different um, um, uh, continuity, so to speak, that you like in your music. You like your voice in a certain pitch or certain melodies you like in a certain way. Has that sort of improved as well? Yeah, I I really like to switch and sh- make a huge variety of you know like my vocal range. I like to right, right. to have some you know some songs where I'm like monotone through the whole way, just kind of like feeling myself, just like you know just going through that. But I like to have somewhere I'm like all over the place on the vocal range and. I really like to give a variety because, you know, if you're just listening through an album just and just hearing like the same like voice the whole time, you're just kind of like, you don't really get amused exactly, throughout right. the, whole th- the whole thing. So yeah, I, I like to switch it up throughout the whole thing and keep people's attention because, you know, in today's world, attention span is everything. You can't keep people's attention for nothing. So it's like, right. You, you really gotta, you really gotta make sure that you're, giving people something new every single song because you'll you'll hear people when they complain about albums the one of the main things today is when someone's complaining about an album they're like oh man all the songs sound the same you know exactly. what i'm saying right 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 and then in creating like you know music now that we're talking about it do you have any new music that that's set to come out soon is is there something on the horizon that we should be looking for for sure i so all in the album i just dropped I really feel like I pushed my sound to like the next level. I think I really 
um, implemented some sounds from other genres that I really like that I wanted to, you know, like heavy metal. Uh, I even took some inspiration from uh, Lil Uzi on one mm-hmm, of the songs, mm-hmm. like you know, the Just Want to Rock beat and, right, uh, you right. know, Fire Alarm off Pink Tape. I really fucked with those. So I wanted to take a little bit of inspiration for one of the tracks. And that actually turned into my favorite song. The album was called Problems Track 2 on that one. Um, But yeah, I think this next one that I'm about to do is I'm just going to keep evolving it even more. I want to get farther and farther away, even though I love Not the Same. I love that album. But every drop, I want to get farther and farther away from th- that, that specific sound that I was going for there because I feel like that was just like my bass sound. Like I like that's what I started at pretty much. I just want to keep make sure I keep excelling. So right, right, you know right. the people who are the people who are taking their time to listen to my shit. So they're really feeling my energy, and they're not just hearing the same the same thing over and over. Right. And if you could describe your music in I guess three words or less, like what what would you want fans to know or take away from listening to your music? Um, sorry to make you question. uh part uh, down your your entire artistry to three words or less. <laughs> uh, shoot, I that's a really good question. Um, I'll I'll say not the same, not the same right, as how right, I would describe yeah. it. You feel me? As much as you want to move away from not the same, you want things to not be the same, even with that first album. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You got it. So. Obviously, you know, like, this has been a, a great conversation. I hate to see us, you know, part ways, but I know, like I said, it's a it's a late night. Once again, thank you again for, for doing this and, and interviewing with me because, you know, the, the as you guys are probably witnessing, this guy's a cool dude with the music to back it up, right? There's a bunch of tracks, cool tracks on all streaming platforms. You guys can look at all three albums, not the same, Head Turner and All In on Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon Music as well. Now, visuals as well. Are we going to get some visuals soon of of songs that were unreleased, released as, as well? Like, what's, what's going on with the pictures? Because on Instagram, you're a ghost man, so. <laughs> yeah, so speaking of visuals, you know, I, I was literally, that's funny you ask, because right before this, I, I'm about to lock into a music video, bro. So, you know, okay, stay tuned okay, for that. Stay okay, tuned okay, for that. Okay, First one. Okay. Yes, thank you, thank you. Because I'm like, yo, is that part of the whole uh, ethos as well? Like the no pictures, but linking to the music and the mysticism of it as well. Is that also part of the the B squared movement? For sure, bro. Just you know that that music video probably gonna be dark. Just kind of like I wanna, I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna give a window into my mind for sure, and and it's it's gonna be it's gonna be different. It's not it's gonna be not the same for sure. Tough. That's tough. And like I said, like congratulations on all that you've done thus far, and I can already tell like you you about to you about to really come in and shake in the industry. So uh, like I said, I'm glad that we was able to do this. Definitely, I appreciate you, bro. You asked some fire questions. Of course, of course. Hey, it's what I do. It's what I do. And thank you guys for another amazing episode of Taking Wakachi. Thank you for always tuning in. You guys can check out my boy B Squared on Instagram at B Squared with three Ds at the end of it. But you can check him out at B Squared on Apple Music, Amazon Music, Spotify all streaming platforms out right now. Check out all his music. This boy is dope. Make sure you guys will get on the bandwagon before it's too, too late. Thank you. Once again, you can check out this interview at the DC Voice on Instagram and YouTube. Check out me on Instagram at kosh.theanalyst. Be squared. Once again, thank you for kicking me, my brother. We are out of here. Peace out. All right, bro. Thanks for having me. Of course.